Welcome to DOT Compliance 101, Lesson 4, Vehicle Maintenance. My name is Tonda Nestor, and I'm a Compliance Specialist with Advanced Testing Solutions. Advanced Testing Solutions has developed DOT Compliance 101 in five sections. Hopefully, you've already had an opportunity to review our Introduction, Driver Qualification and Training, Drug and Alcohol Testing, hours of service, and this is our final session, vehicle maintenance. If you're an advanced testing solutions client, you have received a link to this video with a list of links to all of the resources that we'll be covering during this training session. If you have not received a list of links to these resources, please go to our website, yourscreeningsolution.com, click contact us, and request a list of resources. We'll be happy to send that right over for you. So let's get started with vehicle maintenance. The tools to help you comply with the vehicle maintenance regulations include a motor carrier's guide to improving highway safety that has a chapter dedicated to vehicle maintenance, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration's website where you can download forms and read the regulations in their entirety, and of course our website YourScreeningSolution.com, where drivers can take an in-depth training course on how to perform daily vehicle inspections. As we've discussed before, each year about 4,000 deaths result from accidents involving large trucks. Motor carriers and drivers can be subject to criminal prosecution if it's found that non-compliance with the regulations was the cause for the accident. On January 23, 2009, police say that the truck shown on your screen now was traveling at a high rate of speed around a curve and could not stop and slammed into an SUV. Authorities say traffic was stopped on the Skygull Expressway due to sun glare. The SUV became pinned beneath both the truck and tractor and the driver of the SUV was instantly killed. The driver told police he tried to stop, but the brakes failed. Police investigated the truck and found that it was in no condition to be on the highway. The brakes were all deficient according to authorities. Some of the brakes were not functioning at all. The truck driver, Victor Belvos, had made a cross-country loop where he traveled 9,600 miles in 10 days. During his 10-day trip, police say the driver, Belvos, contacted the owner of the truck 89 times, complaining about the brakes, but was urged to stay on the road. Further investigation revealed that the owner of the vehicle, Kalinchi, had purchased an inspection sticker from local mechanic, Joseph Jadzik, without having the mandatory inspection performed. As a result, the driver Bellus, truck owner Kalinchi, and mechanic Jazik were all charged and pled guilty to homicide by vehicle and related charges. I urge you to keep in mind that there's more at stake here than DOT fines for not following the regulations. If your vehicle is involved in an accident and it's found that your noncompliance was the cause, you will more than likely be criminally charged. If the driver, truck owner, and mechanic in this case had followed the regulations, the driver of that SUV would still be alive today and that truck would have not been on the road that day. Complying with the vehicle maintenance regulations is once again just based on common sense. Motor carriers are required to systematically inspect, maintain, and repair their vehicles. Drivers are required to perform a pre-trip inspection before operating their vehicles each day and a post-trip written inspection at the end of each driving day. Drivers are also required to perform inspections while in operation and to be sure that vehicles are roadworthy, regulations require that vehicles be inspected using very specific inspection criteria on an annual basis. And of course, motor carriers and drivers are required to fully cooperate with any DOT FMCSA roadside inspection.
The regulations regarding vehicle maintenance can be found in Part 396 of the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration regulations, and we certainly urge you to review this portion of the regulations in their entirety, as we certainly couldn't review every portion of the regulation during this brief training session. Motor carriers are required to systematically inspect, maintain, and repair their vehicles. A successful vehicle maintenance program begins with driver inspections. Your drivers are required to perform two inspections each day on each vehicle they operate. A pre-trip inspection is required before the drivers operate a vehicle each day, and a post-trip is required at the end of each driver's day. The post-trip inspection includes a written DVIR, or Daily Vehicle Inspection Report, that's turned in to the motor carrier, noting any safety defects. Companies are also required to have a schedule of maintenance and inspections that are normally performed by your mechanic. The schedule of maintenance and inspections ensures that your company will not place a vehicle on the road that is not roadworthy. In my opinion, the most important part of a successful vehicle maintenance program is company oversight. It's our recommendation that motor carriers have a system in place to be sure that drivers and mechanics are following the regulations. When the drivers, mechanics, and company officials are all working together to systematically inspect, maintain, and repair vehicles, you have a successful vehicle maintenance program. So as we previously discussed, drivers are required to perform a pre-trip inspection before they operate a vehicle, a post-trip inspection at the end of each driving day for each vehicle operated, and inspections while in operation. Each day, before operating each vehicle, a driver is required to do a pre-trip inspection to make sure that that vehicle is roadworthy. Drivers are required to inspect the service brakes, parking brakes, steering, lighting and reflectors, horn, windshield wipers, rearview mirrors, coupling devices, wheels and rims, emergency supplies, and they'll also do a review of yesterday's daily vehicle inspection report to be sure that if any safety defects were noted, they were repaired before he operates the vehicle. At the end of each driver's day, for each vehicle operated, the driver is required to do a post-trip inspection that includes a written daily vehicle inspection report. This written daily vehicle inspection report is turned into the motor carrier to make the motor carrier aware of any safety defects and the daily vehicle inspection reports must be retained for 90 days. During the post-trip inspection, the service brakes, parking brakes, steering, lighting and reflectors, horn, windshield wipers, rear view mirrors, coupling devices, wheels and rims, and emergency supplies are inspected and a written report is turned into the motor carrier each day. Drivers are required to perform a written report for their motor carrier or daily vehicle inspection report during their post-trip inspection. The daily vehicle inspection report must be done at the end of each driver's day. A daily vehicle inspection report must be completed on each vehicle that a driver operates each day. The driver must note any safety defects on the daily vehicle inspection report and include his signature. If a safety defect is noted, a daily vehicle inspection report must have three signatures. The driver signs the daily vehicle inspection report, noting that there was a safety defect, turns it into the motor carrier. The motor carrier or mechanic signs off on the daily vehicle inspection report indicating that the repairs have been made. And then the driver signs the daily vehicle inspection report the next day during his pre-trip inspection. Daily vehicle inspection reports must be retained for 90 days. This is a daily vehicle inspection report. 
this is required by regulation to be completed at the end of each driver's day. We can see that on January 1st, 2001, our driver, John Smith, completed this daily vehicle inspection report on truck number 208. John Smith noted that the front driver side tire was flat and turned it into his motor carrier. The motor carrier's mechanic noted that the above defects were corrected, the mechanic signed off on it, and dated it January 1, 2011. During the driver's pre-trip inspection, on January 2, 2011, the driver noted that the safety defects had been repaired. So keep in mind that daily vehicle inspection reports must have three signatures if any safety defects are noted. So if a safety defect is noted, the driver signs off on the daily vehicle inspection report, turns it into the mechanic or the company official, the mechanic signs off that it's been repaired, and then the driver includes that in his next day's pre-trip inspection and signs off that the repairs have been made. Daily vehicle inspection reports are required to be maintained by the motor carrier for 90 days. So for 90 days, you must have a daily vehicle inspection report for each vehicle operated. In order to have a successful vehicle maintenance program, you need to be able to prove that you systematically inspect, maintain, and repair your vehicles. And your mechanic probably takes care of that for you. You do need to check with your mechanic and be sure that you have procedures in place for the systematic inspection, maintenance, and repair of your vehicles. Be sure that your mechanic keeps accurate records of all inspections, maintenance, and repair. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration requires that you have this form on file, your inspector's qualifications, to be sure that anyone that is inspecting, maintaining, or repairing your vehicles is actually qualified to do so. There's also a form for brake inspector qualifications. Your mechanic should have some sort of record on file indicating when the next inspection and what type of inspection is due for each vehicle. Your mechanic should also have some sort of form indicating a record of when inspections were performed and what type of maintenance has been performed, including the date. Motor carriers are also required to have a very specific annual inspection completed on each commercial motor vehicle at least once every 12 months. Motor carriers are required to have a vehicle maintenance file for each vehicle. The vehicle maintenance files must include a schedule of inspections to be performed, including the type and due date, inspection, repair, and maintenance records, identifying information including company number, make, serial number, year, and tire size, a copy of all roadside inspection reports. Now keep in mind roadside inspections are required to be certified and returned within 15 days and retained for 12 months. Your vehicle maintenance file also must include your annual inspection that has been performed by a qualified inspector at least every 12 months specific to the regulations. Common mistakes that we see in vehicle maintenance are no maintenance, inspection, or repair schedule, not inspecting your mechanics file to be sure that it includes all of the required documents, not checking your daily vehicle inspection reports turned in by your drivers, and no tracking system in place to be sure that your annual inspections don't expire. Advanced Testing Solutions has developed DOT Compliance 101 in five sections, and we hope that you've had an opportunity to review all five sections and that you've found this information helpful. Thank you so much for your attention. My name is Tonda Nestor with Advanced Testing Solutions, and you can feel free to give me a call if you have any questions at 866-413-6872.